In the heart of 2023, American truckers and their companies are sounding an urgent warning. We're facing a freight crisis more severe than the 2008 financial meltdown. With retail sales plummeting and manufacturing and imports slowing down due to dwindling consumer demand, the road transportation industry is witnessing a staggering 50% reduction in orders, leading to a sharp decline in cargo volumes across the nation. One industry CEO has even dared to utter the word collapse to describe the shocking freefall of freight rates, putting numerous trucking companies on the brink of bankruptcy. However, the Western States Trucking Association believes this downturn is merely a harbinger of something even more ominous brewing on America's horizon. Today, we delve deep into the unfolding crisis to reveal what lies ahead. But before we dive in, we kindly ask for your support. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Two years after the influx of stimulus checks ignited a consumer frenzy that sent shockwaves through supply chains and brought U.S. ports to a standstill, we find ourselves on the precipice of a freight crisis. This dire situation is not just an anecdotal claim, it's an alarming reality as reported by industry leaders. Trucking companies, both large and small, are echoing a unanimous sentiment. This is the most challenging freight market they've faced since the Great Recession. But let's delve into the compelling evidence supporting their assertions. Cast your mind back to 2021 when the world seemed to pivot on its axis. A health crisis swept across the globe, confining people to their homes and fueling a surge in online shopping. The result? A freight market on steroids with rates skyrocketing to unprecedented heights, reaching up to a 500% increase in some regions. However, this hot streak began to cool off in 2022. Since then, per-mile rates have plummeted at a pace that's breaking records. By November, prices were already approaching pre-pandemic levels. But it's not all about declining rates. Trucking companies are facing a brutal combination of challenges. Rising maintenance costs, an uptick in capital expenses and operational difficulties are creating a perfect storm for an industry already known for its volatility. In fact, some industry experts are warning that this could surpass the infamous trucking downturns of 2019 and 2008 to 2009. The freight market, like a roller coaster, can shift from hot to cold in the blink of an eye. What makes this downturn especially unnerving is the backdrop against which it's unfolding. The federal government and central bankers recently injected an unprecedented amount of liquidity into the economy, only to initiate the fastest monetary tightening cycle in history. As Craig Fuller, CEO at Freight Waves, aptly put it in a March report, what goes up must come down. To truly grasp the current predicament, we need to rewind to the 1970s when long-haul trucking was considered a stable, well-paying job. However, years of deregulation and subpar working conditions drove many truckers away from the industry. When the pandemic hit, the industry was short 100,000 drivers. The record high freight rates lured in newcomers. But fast forward to today, and the situation is flipped. Instead of a driver shortage, there's an oversaturation of small-scale owner-operators and carriers of all sizes. As demand for goods nosedives, cargo volumes are plummeting nationwide. This downturn is different from previous ones. Not only is there a slowdown in volume related to the industrial economy, but there's also an overbuild of capacity. In simple terms, there are more trucks on the road than there is freight to haul. One glaring piece of evidence pointing to this shift is the shrinking tender rejection rate. Truckers, much like airlines, have the luxury of accepting or rejecting cargo loads. In times of high demand, they'd reject jobs. A couple of years ago, nearly 30% of outbound tenders were being rejected due to tight capacity. But now, we're in a starkly opposite environment, with tender rejections plummeting to levels not seen even since the pandemic. All of these factors culminate in one undeniable fact. The per-mile rate has fallen to a meager $1.49. It's a stark contrast to the heady days of 2021, when some drivers raked in as much as $400,000 in income during the boom. As we rewind to the height of the 2021 boom, truck drivers were reaping the rewards, pocketing an impressive $3 and a cent per mile. Fast forward to today and the grim reality is that freight rates have plummeted by a staggering 52%. In 
It's a gut-wrenching freefall, and there's a foreboding sense that it could sink even lower in the months to come. Senator CEO Patrick Berglund didn't mince words, stating that collapse was the only fitting term to describe what's unfolded in the freight and shipping rates landscape in 2023. He paints a bleak picture, especially when considering Senator's real-time global rates index, which has never before seen such a drastic drop. Adding to the industry's woes, operating costs are soaring. Furthermore, there's a dire shortage of mechanics skilled in repairing diesel trucks, applying additional pressure on truckers already grappling with these turbulent times. This grim scenario means there's significantly less money to be made in the sector, a stark contrast to those who made hefty investments to capitalize on the previous boom. Unfortunately for them, this might just be the tip of the financial iceberg. Since December, a wave of smaller carriers has been surrendering their operating authority, signaling a distressing trend of bankruptcy in the trucking industry. While only seven bankruptcies were announced up until February, the situation took a nosedive in March. Freight waves started receiving alarming alerts, indicating overnight shutdowns or carrier wind-downs, events that typically occur only in the direst of circumstances. Industry experts are making it abundantly clear this crisis far surpasses the 2019 slowdown known as the trucking bloodbath. On March 6th, FreightWorks Transportation, a North Carolina truckload carrier with 200 trucks, shockingly announced its shutdown. An executive from the company revealed that a major long-term shipper had pulled their business and given it to a rival carrier, setting off a chain reaction of financial turmoil that forced FreightWorks to cease operations. March 22nd brought another unsettling development as flagship transporter, a Miami-based carrier with 455 trucks under contract, abruptly stopped paying its bills, ceased operations, and inexplicably stopped responding to driver's calls. March 24th was equally unsettling, as another Miami-based trucking company, Solar and Solar Hauling with 42 drivers, filed for bankruptcy. These carriers, often living on the edge in challenging market conditions like these, are among the most vulnerable. Joe Rickovarch, the Director of Governmental Affairs and Communications for the Western States Trucking Association, offered sobering statistics. Over 15,000 small business truckers who entered the market during its peak have already shuttered their operations due to the burden of expensive equipment in his region alone. The president of J.B. Hunt, one of the largest trucking companies in the U.S., made a bleak assessment, stating that this market is facing its worst conditions in possibly 15 years. Adding to the gloom, a recent CNBC supply chain survey tracking inventories and warehouse space highlighted a decrease in truck movements in and out of warehouses. Ocean freight orders, down 50% year over year, are poised to impact both rail and road transportation in the short and long term. With trucking executives labeling it a freight recession, this, combined with a 40% drop in manufacturing orders, spells dire news for the freight market. Even UPS CEO Carol Tome chimed in, citing a deceleration in U.S. retail sales as a contributing factor to the ongoing slump in volume and persisting demand weakness. The storm clouds continue to gather over the trucking industry, and the road ahead appears increasingly rocky. As we peer into the future, a grim reality emerges. If volumes continue to plummet, which seems the most likely scenario for the remainder of the year, the entire trucking industry is teetering on the precipice of an unprecedented wave of bankruptcies. The freight market's equilibrium hinges on the delicate balance between supply and demand. However, when demand vanishes, the entire ecosystem starts to unravel. But it's not just truckers and carriers feeling the brunt of this crisis. Retailers are also caught in the crossfire. Major companies like Target saw their profits dwindle by a staggering 90% in just one quarter. In a matter of months, consumers lost interest or simply couldn't afford big-ticket purchases anymore. Consequently, many retail businesses found themselves saddled with excessive inventory and began canceling billions of dollars in orders while slashing prices. Truckers and carriers now find themselves on a similarly painful path. Bookings are being canceled left and right, and what was once a red-hot market has turned stone cold. Executives at FreightWaves argue that the very policies designed to curb consumer inflation may be exacerbating stress on the supply side. 
It's crucial to remember that trucking is a capital-intensive industry with one of the lowest returns on capital globally. Yet, it demands substantial capital investment. Many new trucking companies finance their working capital and trucks, and as borrowing becomes more challenging and interest rates rise, their survival prospects dwindle. As the demand for trucking services plunges, diesel prices are following suit. Currently averaging $3.77 per gallon, this marks a stark decline from the all-time high of $5.82 seen just last June, according to the American Automobile Association, AAA. Experts at the Western States Trucking Association caution that the freight recession we're witnessing is merely a harbinger of something far graver. The economic recession looming on the horizon is poised to shake entire industries to their core. Millions of layoffs are anticipated, and economic and financial uncertainty will only escalate. The crisis unfolding before our eyes will be unlike anything we've ever encountered. The meltdown in the freight market serves as just one of the multiple indicators that something profoundly amiss within our system, and the dominoes have already begun to tumble. Brace for turbulent times ahead. If you found this exploration of the current economic landscape thought-provoking, don't forget to hit that like button to show your support. And if you want to stay informed about the evolving economic landscape and more, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Your engagement helps us continue bringing you valuable insights. So, what's your take on the state of the economy? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's navigate these challenging times together.